Well, Sir Elton John's clothing, jewelry, paintings, and photographs from just one of his homes sold for more than $20 million at Christie's Auction House in Midtown. The total was twice what was expected thanks to the performer's fame, but as entertainment reporter Sandy Kenyon found out, it's also a testament to the skill of the auctioneers. 50000 is bid. An auctioneer's job is equal parts sales and showmanship. Art meets commerce every time the gavel falls. It's that special moment where you're, you're, you're coming to this crescendo, you're almost at that final moment, that pregnant pause, and then the gavel falls. Well done. Sold. Tash Perrin has been doing this long enough to earn the title deputy chairman at Christie's. But the sale of items owned by Sir Elton John still represented a highlight. We're looking at Elton John's closet. His signature eyewear was also up for bid, along with artwork and the piano from his Atlanta apartment. Through this collection, you really get a glimpse of not only what he found very interesting and what he was passionate about, but also the world around him. His pride and joy, a Bentley convertible, went for more than $350,000. Her job is to secure the highest possible price for each and every item, both large and small. You've got to realize that, you know, you've got 50 lots to get through. You've really got to keep the pace. Buyers can bid in the room, but also on the phone and via the Internet. Or where that last bid comes in on Christie's Live, where you're just about to bring the gavel down, and those can be the fun moments. Bring the gavel down too fast, and the item will sell for less than it could have earned. No wonder the pressure isn't for everyone. And there are so many people that think, like, this is going to be so much fun. And they take their first five lots, and they say, this is not for me and they leave and there are a couple of people who say gosh you know what this is really fun in midtown i'm sandy kenyon eyewitness news